in the quaint village of Elderia nestled between rolling hills and a shimmering river. There lived a young girl named Elara. From a tender age, she had a burning passion for music, especially the violin. The village was renowned for its musical heritage, with a prestigious annual music competition known as the Harmony Festival. Alara's family encouraged her to pursue her dreams, and her grandfather, a wise old man named Lysander, played a vital role in shaping her aspirations. He often spoke of a legendary violinist, Anselm the Melodist, who had once graced the village with his mesmerizing tunes. Anselm's most cherished possession was his enchanted violin, which was said to have the power to resonate with the very soul of the player. Evoking emotions beyond imagination. Inspired by Anselm's legacy, Elara resolved to participate in the upcoming Harmony Festival and win the title using her own unique rendition of the enchanted violin. She practiced tirelessly day and night, drawing inspiration from the winds, the river, and the rustling leaves. Yet, her initial attempts were far from perfect. The violin screeched and squeaked, and Alara's fingers bore the marks of her unyielding dedication. As the festival drew near, doubt gnawed at Alara's resolve. Her fellow villagers whispered that she was too young, too inexperienced to compete against the seasoned musicians. Even her fingers, red and so, seemed to betray her. But Lysander, with his flowing white beard and eyes that sparkled like stars, stood firmly by her side. Greatness is not achieved overnight. My dear, he would say, his voice a soothing balm to her weary heart. In the pursuit of greatness, persistence is the ultimate weapon. Just as a river shapes the hardest rock with its patient flow, your dedication will mold your music into a masterpiece. Elara held on to those words like a lifeline. She knew that her journey had only just begun, and if she wished to reach the crescendo of her dreams, she must continue the symphony of perseverance. With renewed determination, she practiced even harder, seeking guidance from the whispers of nature around her. The day of the Harmony Festival arrived, casting a golden hue over the village square. Musicians from far and wide assembled, each eager to prove their mettle. Elara felt a mixture of excitement and trepidation as she stepped onto the stage, clutching her beloved violin. As the festival unfolded, melodies danced through the air, weaving stories of love, triumph, and despair. Each performance was a brushstroke on the canvas of the villager's soul. Finally, it was Alara's turn. She closed her eyes. Envisioning herself as an instrument of the wind and river, channeling the energy of her surroundings. The first note resonated, pure and clear, like the first droplet of rain after a drought. As Elara played, the crowd fell into a hushed silence, captivated by the raw emotion woven into her music. Her fingers danced across the strings, pouring her heart and soul into each stroke. The enchanted violin responded, harmonizing with her very essence. The music swelled, rising to a crescendo that sent shivers down the spines of the listeners. It was as if the river's current, the wind's caress, and the leaves rustling had converged into a symphony that transcended time and space. The melody painted pictures of determination, struggles, and unyielding hope. A testament to the power of persistence. When Alara's final note hung in the air, the village square erupted into applause. The sound a thunderous affirmation of her triumph. She had not only played a piece of music. She had painted a masterpiece with her persistence, dedication, and unwavering belief in herself. Elara won the Harmony Festival. Not just as a musician but as a beacon of inspiration. Her journey echoed through the ages as a reminder that in the pursuit of greatness, persistence is the ultimate weapon. Just as a river carves a path through the hardest stone, 
The symphony of perseverance shapes the destiny of those who dare to dream and persist against all odds.